More exciting guests for you this morning. Hi, tell everybody who you are How and you what you do. How you doing, Kat? My name is Biz. Hi, Biz. My name is Ron. Hi, Ron. Yes, yes, and we are representing Brand New Wave and Climbing Trees Daily. And also 1010 Entertainment as well. And, um, you know, we're here to talk about some great things we have coming up. You want to hear about it, Kat? I do. <laughs> just opened up a barbershop, brand new wave. It just opened up over in Richmond um, in the Manchester area. And um, after opening, we wanted to really, you know, get the word out about the business and also do some things for the community. So we put together this pop-up shop. Uh, the purpose of this event is just to inspire the young men and women at these schools we're visiting uh, to, you know, uh, take care, take ownership, uh, you know, to uh, reinvest in themselves, reinvest in their communities, uh, just to, you know, start setting goals, striving to achieve them. I just really appreciate Biz coming out and just showing us about black entrepreneurship, black business ownership, and just how to just take control of your own dream and just make it happen. I really appreciate it. Thank you. The event was amazing. It was one of the best events that Virginia Union had all, all year. I think it's awesome that an event like this takes place at a university like this. And the college tour is amazing thought. It was a great thought. Uh, most importantly, it was uh, really interesting to find uh, like-minded people. I, th I thought I was the only one with these ideas, you know, and wanted to create this network, but come to find out it already exists. So like I said, I'm trying my best to become a part of it. The event was very, very informative. It talked about sacrifice, what you had to do to overcome things, and the struggle in order to get things. It's a very strong testimonial. It really talks about how to prevail into something and achieving your dreams. And I feel as though this was something that a lot of schools need in order to know that you have to start somewhere. As long as you prevail and can overcome something, you can accomplish anything. The event's going to consist of some live performances. We got Noah O, Nicholas Saf, yours truly, J Bibbs. Uh -huh. Also, we're going to have an open discussion talking about some real relevant topics today, uh, getting some live time feedback from those in attendance. And, uh, we also have a mixer portion, so we're going to be feeding the people there too. We have a Kroper spot providing food, uh -huh. uh, DTLR, gift card giveaways. We actually have a brand new wave, barber and stylist there also. They'll be giving out free haircuts, free trims, and lineups. This is basically a learning experience for me. Um, it was a lot of inspiration. It gave us a whole lot of information that is needed to be given to the black community. How to be a business person, the steps you have to take, and what it takes to be the business person. Informing you on how to market yourself and show that you're multifaceted. The fact that, that all the majors that we have, all different majors we have, business is a criteria in all the majors that we're doing. And if you don't have that business mindset as a person, you will not, you will not go far in life. I got inspired to uh, look more into black-owned businesses. That's one thing I did not know and I did not take seriously, you know, purchasing from black-owned businesses. I'm definitely starting to look forward to that in the future. And he really gave me a step-by-step -step play on what I need to do, um, starting with myself and the people that I have around me, my team, and a lot of good advice. And I got to network with a lot of good people that I can't wait to hook up with in the future. How to face your fears, conquer your fears, some keys to success if that cliche enough. And I think it's like a great event for like young black young people. Well, I love that you guys are using your talents and putting it together for good. I mean what inspires you to give back to the community? I'm always so like cool somebody's doing something good. Well um, I know uh when I was coming up, it wasn't a lot of people my age, well, my age now, uh, coming back talking to us uh, at, at the schools or whatever the case may be. And I just feel like when you're um, an age that's close to that demographic, they listen, you know, they, they, they want to hear more. And um, also the music opens them up a little bit more to, to listen to what we have to say as well. I would love to see like things like this on campus. It brings the school together as one. Seeing events like this are, is inspirational plus fun, and it's very informative. And I feel as though that as a student leader, something like this on campus is very needed. It gets, it brings unity and it makes everybody come as one. And that's what really school is all about. And of course, getting your education. Oh my gosh, yes. I think a lot of campuses would enjoy events like this. This should happen everywhere, not just here, everywhere. It helps to get other ideas from other students and see what they're thinking. We can bounce ideas off each other and in turn and help each other. Uh, I feel like this would be a great idea. Branching out with these ideas and stuff, talking to the community, not only just schools, but community, everybody. It'll, it'll be a great uplift for everybody. Yeah, sure. We black 
students, we need this. You know, we don't see a lot of this, so we do need it um, in our communities and in our colleges. We just kind of want to provide the students with something that we wish we would have had attending school, uh, just something that's going to motivate them, inspire that entrepreneurial spirit. You know, we just want to show everybody that you can have ownership. If that's something you want, then, you know, you can go out there and get it. We're just trying to motivate those to, you know, do better for themselves, better their communities. Um, well, I want to own an NBA team. I want to uh, own my own restaurant, actually. My family, barbers, I want to own a barbershop myself. I want to own, similar to like 1010, it's an entertainment company. I don't want to own my business per se, but I want to help people help themselves in a sense. Man, it's J.O., Virginia Marketing Rep for Detail R, also host of the wonderful show, The Outlet Show, and we here at this great event for my brother, J.Biz. I came here to represent Detail R and The Outlet Show. We had a great turnout. Hundreds of kids here paying attention to what we were talking about, about entrepreneurship, getting your foot out front. As soon as you get out of these college doors and making your next up your best stuff. New at six today, the brand new Wave Pop Up Shop College Tour made a stop at the Virginia State University campus. Eight News reporter Nikel Williams explains how the tour is helping local students. Nikel. Coordinators of brand new Wave Pop Up College Tours aim to promote entrepreneurship among African American college students. Today, students at Virginia State University are learning how they might add owning their own business to their list of career goals. Planner set up the event in Harris Hall, premiering careers like cosmetology, music, and performing arts. They say it's about encouraging students to pursue their dreams and give back in the process. I just want them to start thinking of innovative and creative ways to use their gifts to impact the, you know, the world and um, to help one another and help their communities. The next brand new wave pop-up shop college tour will be March 2nd at Virginia Union University. There's a link on our website if you'd like more information. Mikkel Williams, 8 News.